My childhood was uh, kind of the 50s, 1950s, leave it to Beaver. So my life was, was that, from Little League Baseball to eventually to high school sports to uh, playing college basketball and sitting on the bench and enjoying uh, watching great athletes play. That instilled in me that if you do work hard, if you do uh, use teamwork, that you can accomplish great things with other people around you. Uh, I had been in uh, the nonprofit economic development world for about 40 years, and so moving to Henderson uh, to work for a city government uh, was challenging. So I tried to bring that to the plate when I first got here, is that being from Henderson and working for the city government of Henderson, that we ought to be collaborating with the city of Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, the county, the region, and what we do if we work together collaboratively again, that we have more strength in numbers than to try to compete with each other. Bob stood out. Uh, it was clear in my mind that this, this person had gifts that would be beneficial to the city of Henderson and to our community for a long time to come. And when I looked at Henderson, we didn't have an abundance of higher education. To me, those are the foundations of any good community anyway. If you have a good foundation of higher education and a good degree of health care, the combination of those two is outstanding. Pulling together a group to do long-term planning in the health care sector, to me, was a defining moment. And it's one that I think uh, will benefit this community for a long time. How about that we try to collaborate and bring these two industries forward to Henderson and to the Valley? Which wasn't uh, received too well initially. I was told that uh, this is a very competitive environment, that the hospitals didn't collaborate with each other. Well, the Southern Nevada Healthcare Coalition was an idea that Bob had. It grew out of our recognition that we needed to try and find a way to energize the medical and healthcare industry. Some of the biggest accomplishments during the beginning years of the Southern Nevada Medical Industry Coalition were the, if you call it the recruitment or welcoming in some of the newer higher education, uh, healthcare higher education uh, components to the community. Well, Roseman and Toro are two what I would consider to be a, of the most beautiful feathers in our cap. Uh, Bob was essential in keeping the relationship alive. When we were starting the coalition, uh, we, the city of Henderson, had a very large parcel of about 160 acres. Developers out of Orange County approached us and talked to us about a new concept called Union Village. The anchor tenant at that time uh, for our hospital was, go was gonna go on there. They kind of pulled out at the last minute. Uh, luckily, uh, I gave Sam Kaufman and Carla Perez a call and said, I know you've always been wanting to come to Henderson. What would you think about coming to Union Village and you being the anchor tenant? And to Carla's credit and to Sam's credit, they did meet with Union Village and as we say, the rest is history. It's the largest healthcare project in America, right here in Henderson, Nevada. Bob was, Bob was instrumental in bringing the resources of the city, that the city could provide into this project. We owe a lot of our success, if not all our success, to Bob Cooper. Our business in general, I think, is based on relationships and trust. And we quickly had that with Bob, that, you know, that he really was working for us. And it was more than just a job, it was, Great project, but great friendship. He is a great husband, a great father. I know that he's, um, he's always done the very best he could. My father really laid down the foundation in our home and taught us all to be strong, um, ethical, savvy women. Taught us respect and integrity and how to work hard and as you can see all of us are really passionate about what we do and we go all in to make sure that we're not selfish and putting other people first and taking others into consideration when we're making decisions. Bob, you deserve all the accolades coming to you. I know you're always going to continue to not say too much but I'm here to to tell you, everyone here that you're 
truly an inspiration to all of us. You don't find people in government like Bob who can be the Pied Piper and bring business and industry together just as he marched along and played his tune. And I'm not aware of other communities that have anything as comprehensive as Heels that has been as long lasting as Heels. The credit to that, I think, uh, rests very well on Bob Cooper's shoulders.